Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pearl Atelier. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Eileen if you are new here and I wanted to showcase my Murano glass jewelry. So I've had this for over a decade. Prior to getting these pieces of Murano jewelry, I always assumed that Murano was just making decorative pieces like vases and I was very surprised to find them in a jewelry form. So I actually got this over a decade ago. There was a European gentleman who was based in my hometown and who opened like a counter at one of the oldest shopping centers around. So he had so much interesting pieces of jewelry from Europe and I think he was around 60 years of age. So you can imagine how many years he has been collecting these pieces of jewelry and at that point in time he was having a sale and I dropped by and he said that he was moving back to Europe so I was very sad to hear that but at the same time I didn't want to lose out on the opportunity to grab some fabulous pieces from him and when he told me that these pieces of jewelry were Murano glass I absolutely went bonkers and I grabbed all these pieces they were quite pricey as well at that point in time i paid around uh, us 500 for all these pieces uh, they are more or less around 10 pieces but i think they are works of art i've seen some which is very similar online but not all of them i am wearing one of my favorite pieces from the collection which is in a cobalt blue color and mixed with gold and it is like looking like the old egyptian gold it has got the patina all of these pieces of jewelry has got the patina to it because as i mentioned he was around 60 plus years old and he said that every time he goes back to europe he would get a few pieces when i did some research online i think i found some of these types as well because they so this one the wrist bracelet that i'm wearing is in a matte gold finish and with some etchings on it so it's really really special i read online so i'm not sure which uh, source is correct because there are some which said that they started in the 15th century and some that start said that it started in the 17th century but you know it's it has been around for quite some time and even as a teenager i've read about it that they it was such a lucrative trade that the craftsmen were actually placed on an island because they were so afraid the secret would leak out the secret of how to make these pieces of glass i think the same way that the chinese were were very secretive and guarded the secret of how to make the porcelain because it was such a lucrative trade as well so and it was not available to the masses of people it was only available to those of nobility because it requires such a high uh, amount of craftsmanship and it would have been very expensive but nowadays obviously everything has been commercialized and what i can say about murano glass is that it has a very understated muted look to it um, so it's not really in your face like most of the modern pieces of let's say crystal jewelry the ones that i'm wearing the cobalt blue color with the gold i think they're trying to emulate the color of the lapis and in those days because lapis was such a prized gemstone and it would have been very difficult for them to get it from um, the middle east it would have taken quite a long route for them to secure it so i would think that they were trying to emulate that kind of a color it's very very arresting i would say that murano glass is something like a kaleidoscope of color but it's in a very understated classy muted kind of a way and then you have got this fabulous ruby like necklace which reminds me of lollipop colors and they have married it together with the orange which really really i never would have imagined to combine the orange together with the red for the cobalt blue and gold i've got quite a selection of them i chose them because they were in different shapes and sizes so you can really really appreciate the craftsmanship because the shapes are really really interesting and different and also a favorite of mine is this rose gold color with turquoise i never would have imagined to marry such a soft color with turquoise but the combination 
really works one of my favorites as well is this sort of like a starburst design in a light pink color with some white crystal you really have to put it on sometimes to appreciate it because sometimes when you just look at it you don't really know how it looks like fashion is as i mentioned not just about clothing it's also about the jewelry because the jewelry finishes the whole look um, these are actually my private collection so they are not available for sale i think sometimes i need to stress that out because sometimes when i'm showcasing my private collection people do ask me if it's available for sale but i really love to have a look at them and look at the craftsmanship of it because each one of them is actually hand-blown glass bought here all the way from borneo from europe by that gentleman who ran his business so the story behind it is already so very interesting this is one of the most spectacular pieces of murano necklace that i have you can see that the glass is blown to look exactly like a seashell it's really really so lifelike unless you look closely you wouldn't know that it's made up of glass so this is really a work of art so thank you so very much for spending time with me if you would like to know more about jewelry i'm going to be linking the playlist towards the end so you can take your leisurely time looking through them and i hope to see you again in my next video this is eileen from the pearl atelier signing off goodbye